Hello everybody and welcome back to Journey to the Core. Now as you can see, I am not at base. Um, base is over that way, not too far away. Um, but I went on a little expedition to collect some stuff. I got enough burning blossoms and I need a couple more gravestones, but then we've got those quests done. And I found this, beehive, um, or wasp hive which we need for a quest. Um, and I decided I'm going to record this part um, of my adventure. Oh, I hear them in there. I don't like that sound. Um, because I figured it was worth recording. So we're just going to build a bridge over here. All right, so these are hive blocks. Um, so what exa do we need? What exactly do we need for the honey quest? We need honeycomb blocks and we need honey buckets. Do we have buckets? Um, I only have two buckets, so we actually are going to have to come back here. But let's um, let's see what we can. Oh, do we just get honeycomb? Do we not get the blocks? Oh, we need silk touch too. Dang it. Unless use. Okay, so we can make get the honeycomb blocks from um, the honeycomb. We just don't get as much. And actually, uh, using an axe. All right, so there's the hole. All right, I see a whole bunch of wasps in there. Let's be careful. I don't know if they can get through a one hole or not. I don't want to just like have a whole load of them. We want we want to try and find the spawner. Um, so let's go underneath and see if we can't find the spawner. Spawner must be in the wall somewhere. Okay, so if we stay in the walls, can I use you for anything? We can use you as fuel, and we can use you for that. Okay. All right, so um, we want to find a spawner. So as long as we don't break through the... Um, oh, there's honey in that one. As long as we don't break through the honeycomb, um, they shouldn't be able to get to us. We need to be careful that we don't just make the whole thing fall down too, because that would be bad. Is this affected? Is is this honeycomb affected by gravity? That's the important question to be asking here. Is, is this thing affected by gravity? Because if it is, we're gonna have a problem. Let's see. Do you guys know where the it may be? I may find it before I get to look at your comments, but just in case I um, can't find the spawner, do you guys have any ideas where it might be located? Um, or if we can just get enough honeycomb just from going around it like this, um, that is fine with me. Aha! Spawner! That's one down. I don't know if there's going to be more than one, but we'll go around this top bit like this see if we find any more. And if we can get rid of the spawners, this will be awesome. Alright, so... All right, where are we at for room? We got plenty of space in our inventory. Alright. Alright, so that's that. So, it doesn't look like there's another one up here. Oh, no, wrong button. Just come on. Just clear out a whole load of this metal, make sure there's none there. Is it just the one? Because if it's just the one, that'd be great. It'd be great! And 
And it looks like it might just be the one. At least on the top, it looks like. I don't just want to drop down. Because that would probably be suicide. Um, let's come down to the bottom. And go around the base, make sure there's none down here. Um... We get any honey from that? I don't think so. Just going around the bottom, seeing if there's anything down here. It doesn't look like anything's fallen down yet, so maybe these blocks aren't really affected by gravity like other blocks are. How many do we have now? And how many do we need? That's that's half a stack, and we need half a stack! So what we need now is we need honey. Um, I broke one that had honey, but was there another? I think there was another one. So we may want to just leave these wasps be and hope that they make money. Here's one. Um, if I get a bucket and I right click on this, no, that doesn't give me honey. How do I get honey then? Um, honey bucket. <laughs> Honey, honey bucket, biomes of plenty. I don't know, but we have our enough beeswax, so I think we will leave this hive intact for now. We took the spawner out, um, so we have to figure out how to get the honey from these bees or wasps from these wasps. Um, oh, that's a bee. Whoa, 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 they're coming, they're coming. They're not friendly. Nope, 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 nope. Burn! Get out of here. Alright, they can't sneak up on me now, but there are a lot of them. Alright. I think we might be okay. At least until they start coming closer again. Yeah, die, bee, wasp. Burn, you little wasp. Did they just drop XP? I think they might just drop XP. They don't do that much damage. I would much rather fight these than pigmen. Um, at least when they're like this, when I can kite them. If there's only one way they can get to me. Out in the open? Probably not. But fighting anything out in the open is not fun in this mod pack. Die. Die, wasps. Alright, so, um, question for this is if you guys know how, um, how to get the honey, first off, and if you know how many spawners each of these hives normally have, that would be great information to know. Um, so if you guys know any of that, please let me know. Um, I think that we're done with it for now, but we will definitely come back here um, and get the honey later. Um, I want to get the gravestones and probably head back to base um, if we can. Um, and thank you for telling me about the spawners and these things. I got very close and a lot of stuff just spawned, so I kind of ran away. Um, but I kind of figured they weren't a good thing, so... But it's nice to know exactly what stuff is, so that you don't have to, so that you don't have to go and die constantly around things. Alright, I think that's all of the actual wasps in the immediate vicinity. So we can hop on over here. Grab this gravestone, and then we just need one more. Um, I've seen a couple, so that shouldn't be too hard. Uh, let's see. I want to see if we can find another one over here somewhere. I need to be careful, because stuff could fall. 
at any moment. Um, so we just need a gravestone. He's dying. There's another gas somewhere. Probably underneath us, like normal. Mr. Wasp, you shall die. Burn! At least wasps don't have any, um, armor. I really don't like all the gas that spawn, like, underneath us. Because then they just shoot up at the ground, and I never know when they're going to break through, or if they're going to break through. It's not very fun. Um... Hmm. I know we need two more gas kills for our killing quest. Yeah, stuff like that happens. Um, and I don't like stuff like that happening. Let's quickly fly over here. Why not? Make sure nothing's going to kill us right away. I know that there are blaze spawners in these. Yep, see? There's a whole load of blazes. Hello, magma cube. You can die. Alright, nice. Yeah, I don't want to just fight those one on many. So we're going to leave those. There's a gravestone over here we're going to grab. And then we're probably going to head back to base, turn in these quests, and see how long we've been recording. And depending on how long we've been recording, um, we may open some icosahedrons. There's a lot of bad things over there. Let's just fly over here real quick. Get away from all those bad things. Uh, should be able to just come up here. Let's just get up as high as we can. <laughs> They'll just fall to their deaths, that's fine. Alright, and one big jump! And if we go straight this way, there's our base island. And there was a um, ravine that opened up underneath us. So that happened. Um, can I actually... I'm going to have to break this. Jump our way up here. Um, I also I did a little bit of work in the base too, off camera. So um, I can show you guys that. Now that we're back, um, first let's go ahead and turn in these quests. So manual submit. Um... A weapon, don't really need it. We'll go with the icosahedrons. And this one, manual submit. And we want the specter key. Claim reward. Alright. Um, what's this? Ash blocks. Okay. I think we actually have some ash. So, um, it was here. Yeah, we have some ash. So, that's some thing at least. Um, ooh. Food saturation and invisibility. So there's some pants that we got. We got two more icosahedrons. We got another yellow heart. Awesome. I don't need that quarter. Throw those in there. We got the spectral key. So I believe if I come here and I shift right click. And whoop. And now we should be in the spectral dimension or our spectral dimension. Let's see if it loads. Maybe. Oh, a little bit of stuff there. Are we? Are we in it? Oh, we are in it. Okay. Um, this is our spectral dimension. We have light blue spectral blocks all around us. But yes, this is our spectral dimension where we can store things. Um, so like just for example, I can put stuff down like this. Um, this is the stuff I want here, but that's just for example. Um, but yeah, it's a nifty little pocket dimension. Um, what I'd like to know is if you guys know this, please let me know. Um, does... Is the dimension the same no matter where I open it? Or does it vary based on location? I suppose we could test that theory. Um, I'll probably test it off camera, but we lost some leaves here. 
Oh yeah, I did have a problem with some monsters. Um, but it, it should be fixed now. But yeah, so if you guys know, um, if the pocket dimension stays the same no matter where I am, or if it varies based on location, that would be awesome information um, to know. So if you guys want to let me know, um, I want to say it's the same no matter where, but I could be completely wrong. Um, so, all right. So for the rest of today's episode, uh, we've got a few icosahedrons. Probably won't open all of them. Um, let's go with one, two, three, four for the last bit of today's episode. Um, maybe we'll open more depending on how long these take and what we get. But um, you'll also notice this tunnel here, and I should point out I put stone all around here. I put some dirt and grass down, so that's spreading for the pigus. Um, I have not gotten my stuff for that yet. I'm still working on getting more cobblestone, but we are working on it. Oh, come on. Um, not in here. Um, in here, you'll see I've got eight triple compressed now, and I'm working on some more. So there's that, and then up here, I made a nice little room. I'm thinking about putting like a balcony or something so I can look out. And I put my bed down, and it doesn't explode, which is amazing. Um, my throat's getting a little sore. Um, so I'm going to start talking less. Um, but yeah, that's what I did during the um, in the base. So we've got that nether ruby. Ooh, cool. I think the other one might have broken. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I dug this tunnel out, thought about putting in it, the ender quarry in, but it turns out... I don't think we need to set up the ender quarry here. So I'm going to use this tunnel to open these things for now. Um, but yeah, so I may set up, use this area for the ender quarry later. I don't think we're going to need it though. Ooh, golden apple. Yay, I like golden apples. Okay, so that can go in here. We got f three of them now. I should use this stuff that I have more. Uh, what do we get? A golden bag of holding. All right. It's not that impressive, but we can use it. Um, I don't know. We'll either turn it into EMC or we will use it to store stuff. I don't know. <gasps> Yay! Gertrude! Gertrude! Um, you, Safari Net, come here. Mine. We have Gertrude back! Yay! Yay! Yay for Gertrude! Oh, we also have this Mithril ore I want to figure out what it does. Ooh! That's a lot of gold. Awesome. All of a sudden exploded after I mined that. Oh well. Awesome! We got lots of gold. That's a lot of EMC. Golden helmet, golden carrots, golden nuggets, gold, 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 gold for days! Awesome! We got Gertrude. All right. Well, I will save the rest for later. Um, I want well, it's nice to have a little break and open things every once in a while. Um, throw you there just to make sure nothing comes through. I need to put a door or something in. Gertrude can come in here with the pigus. Yay! Yay! Yay for Gertrude! Huzzah! All right. So. We'll throw this gold in here. We don't need it. Let's throw the golden bag of holding in there as well. We don't need it. Throw these up here. All right. Well, uh, this was a very nice episode. I like having episodes where I'm not dying. It's very nice. All right. So um, we need to figure out the honey situation. I actually can turn in those that honeycomb now. Might as well. Manual submit. We need some buckets of honey. Um, ooh. We get a safari net with something in it. I think I'll take that. Uh, we need to get ash block, which isn't that hard to get. We need to kill some more stuff. Um, I may go kill some stuff like the blazes off camera. We'll see. Um, we also need to get a bunch of overgrowth, which is probably what we'll end up having to use the ender quarry for. That has luck. What Do you have silk? We could put silk touch on our hatchet. That's a thing we could do. Um, it wouldn't be great, but we could always make another pick. I don't know. 
Let me guys let me know what you guys think after I English correctly. Um on everything. I will work on getting our stuff. Ooh, I also made another brewing stand and have some potions to regen in there. I need to remember about. Um I will keep working on getting this uh getting my cobblestone done up and compressed and everything. So getting that working. Actually, I didn't show you. I did this off camera, didn't I? I set up this little doohickey to automatically um assemble or compress my cobblestone at least one and then I've been using iron chests to just ferry it back just like you saw me do. Um but yeah, so I'll pr maybe I'm not going to say that I will have it, but I might get my sag mill set up right here. Um, so we can start smashing through some of these ores. I'm thinking about using the induction smelter so that we can get a lot more out of this. Um, I haven't figured all that out yet, but we'll wait and see um, how things go. Um, whatever I decide to do, you guys will see it in the next episode. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you all next time. Till then, guys. Bye-bye.